Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. I'm here today to make a Mother's Day card. Uh, this is going to be the third and final one I'm making. Uh, this one I'll be using this, let me show you. This Hero Arts uh, stamp and die. This is called um, Mother and Father um, Animals Bundle. If they still have it on scrapbook.com where I got it, I will link it down below. So uh, I used, let me show you what I used. I used this stamp right here to cut out the, the cat and the kitten. And I went ahead and used a, um, a Spectrum Noir uh, Tri-Blend Markers in uh, gray. Um, and I used a different a lighter shade for the kitty. Well, I should say the kitten. And I put a little pink here and there in the ears. And just, you know. And that's what I did with that one. And so that's this one here. And then I'm going to use a couple of sentiments in here, and I may use some other stuff, but I haven't decided yet. So this is the, this is what I'll be using today. And the uh, paper I used, uh, I don't know where it came from. It was in my sash, so just to let you know if anybody asks. I have my uh, card base. This is a um, A2 size, so this is a four and a quarter by five and a half. Basically, it's a five and a half by uh, eight and a half uh, card stock that you should score in the middle. This is going to be a um, landscape card, so I went ahead and got stamped it. I am using this ink. For this, this is called uh, VersaFine Claire uh, Warm Breeze. Yeah, that's what it's called. It's a real pretty bluish, bluish green, I want to call it. It's a real pretty, almost aqua. Okay, so let me uh, go ahead and get everything uh, set up, and then I'll be right back. All right, so I got my card bases out, and just to let you know, this is an A2 size card, and this first layer is five and three eighths by four and an eighth. I'm not sure where this paper came from. Uh, it's real pretty. Uh, I want to say Tonic Studios, maybe. Uh, not sure. Found it in my stash. And then this uh, top pattern layer, and again, I don't know where that came from. Maybe, um, I don't know, Paige Evans or maybe Vic, Vicky Boutin. Is that, that's how you pronounce it. Uh, this pattern layer is five and an eighth by uh, four. And yes, we are making a landscape card. I'm sorry if I didn't mention that earlier. So uh, I'm using double adhesive tape to put this on here. It the um, the bottom layer was a little bit off, but that's okay. This um, next postage it's a postage stamp die that I use. I don't know where that came from either. I'm sorry. Uh, this postage stamp die, uh, this top one, this uh, bottom layer, the blue is three and three quarters. I'm sorry, four and three quarters by three and three quarters. And then uh, the top layer on top of that is going to be three and three quarters by two and three quarters. And I went ahead and stamped it. It says, thank you um, for always being there. Right. And I really love these, these cute little animal dies. This kitten and uh, her mama are so cute. Or it could be her daddy too. Uh, they're so cute together. And I just went ahead and did the, um, both cats in this, uh, Spectrum Noir, I think it was a gray, I'm not sure which shade the gray it was, um, tri-blend markers, and I just made the, uh, kitten a little bit lighter than Mama or Daddy, um, but 
in this case, it's going to be mama because it's a Mother's Day card. But if I made a Father's Day card, it definitely would be a daddy. So now I'm just lining this up on here. And then I'm going to go ahead and put some um, foam adhesive on the back of the kitten. I mean, uh, of this um, cat and uh, kitten piece. And I'm using some, I think it was Jot. Uh, I think I got it from Dollar Tree. So for that reason, uh, I will add liquid glue on there just to make sure it stays on there because this uh, adhesive doesn't seem to want to stick as well but I like the foam uh, dimension on this so I do still use it and if it's in my stash it's going to get used uh, one way or another so so that's what I'm doing here and then um, the inside of the car is going to say happy mother's day but um, you may or may not notice this in the video but you're going to see that uh, somehow the ink got on parts of my card on the inside I don't know how that happened I checked my hands I didn't see anything on there um, I don't know if possibly after I'd stamped it I must have moved on I let it dry first because it is Versa, uh, Versa Claire and that is kind of a uh, a wet so to speak it takes longer to dry so because you can use it for uh, embossing and so forth so now I'm just going to add this on here. Why I use liquid glue now is beyond me because every time I use liquid glue and I put it down, then I want to move it and I can't. So now I'm thinking, oh, I should move it over a little bit to the um, uh, the left, the right side of the uh, the card. Well, the right car, right side as we're facing it. But then I decided, no, that's okay because I can't get it off now. All right, so now I'm just picking out these enamel dots. Uh, these dots are from the uh, Pebbles um, Fun and Sun collection. And um, that's coming to an end. And now just stay tuned for the end uh, ending where I show you what I put, uh, well, what I did on the inside of the card. Uh, I did add some other things there when I found that there was some ink stuck. Um, it was like near the end the top half of the card actually when you open it up but like here I'm thinking oh maybe I should have moved it over like too late but the the card came out really cute and um, I like the colors especially I love the combination of colors on this card now I'm trying to find another. Uh, oh, I decided I'm going to use a little heart uh, stamps that came in the uh, in the kit. And there's two different sizes, so I'm going to do one of the larger ones, and then I will stamp the little one in there as well. You can see there is some ink, and I'm trying to point it out to you on here when I see it. But it see, I'm trying to get it off, but I can't. It's stuck on there. And again, I don't know what happened. I mean something I don't know maybe it was on my hands whatever but somehow I got it on there so now I'm gonna use the smaller heart to go on there to see if I can at least um, make it less obvious but then on the top half of the car which you can't really see from this right now there is some ink on there so and it's possible I did that myself but I had to find a way to fix that and then I just decided well I'll, I'll think of something so that's it for my card stay tuned for some pictures and some um, um, for some pictures and thanks for watching and hope you'll have a great day and I'll talk to you soon bye now